The demand for affordable yet performant AI has reached a fever pitch. Enthusiasts and professionals alike are desperately seeking alternatives to expensive NVIDIA setups that can handle large language models without breaking the bank. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If you are a regular follower of this channel, you know that we are always on the quest of affordable and local AI. The market has been crying out for a system that combines substantial VRAM capacity with reasonable performance for local AI inference, but options have been frustratingly limited. Most solutions either lack sufficient memory bandwidth, come with prohibitive price tags, or force users into compromises that make local AI workloads impractical. The boss game M5 represents an intriguing entry into the AI PC market built around AMD's flagship Ryzen AI Max plus C95 processor from the Strix Hello family. This powerhouse features 16 Zen 5 CPU cores capable of reaching 5.1 GHz with simultaneous multi-threading support for 32 concurrent threads. And that is why I am quite excited to present you a specification overview and if I think that this could be a viable option of running large language models locally on your system. So let's get started. If you look at this table, this gives you a core overview of this new AI PC, which has been released by Boss Game. The price is 1700 US dollar at the moment, as you can see. What makes this system particularly compelling for AI workloads is its massive 128 GPU of LPD DDR 5X memory running at 8533 MHz which is dynamically shared between the CPU and integrated GPU. The integrated Red Radeon 8060S graphic processor packs 40 compute units based on RDNA 3.5 architecture that delivers performance that AMD claims is comparable to an RTX 4090, which is 4070, sorry, which is quite comparable. The system also includes a dedicated 50 TOPS XDNA2 Neural Processing Unit or NPU specifically designed for AI acceleration contributing to a total system compute capability of 126 TOPS which is quite interesting in my humble opinion. For AI model inference, this configuration presents some compelling advantages and notable limitations too. The massive 128 GPU of unified memory is the system's strongest selling point as it can accommodate LLMs or VLMs that would typically require expensive multi-GPU setups or extensive model quantization. Models in the 70 billion parameter range should run, I think, quite easily, though inference speeds will likely be more modest than dedicated GPU solutions. Based on the technical specifications and I would say some of the experiments I have run over the last few months, I think we can expect roughly 3 to 4 tokens per second for 70 billion models with 8-bit quantization, which while not blazing fast, provides a practical solution for local AI experimentation and development. And of course, as the model size will decrease and if you use a smaller model, that will improve of course. The AMD software ecosystem remains the biggest question mark for AI workloads, as you can probably imagine yourself. While AMD has made significant strides with rock amp support and recent Vulkan optimization, the reality is that most AI frameworks and tools are still optimized primarily for NVIDIA's CUDA ecosystem. But recent developments show promise the system reportedly this one supports popular inference engines like Olama and has gained Rockham compatibility, suggesting that the software gap may be narrowing. 
for users willing to navigate some additional setup complexity this system could offer a viable alternative to nvidia's dominance but still there will be limitations if i have to be brutally honest with you will it challenge nvidia's stronghold on a computing in the consumer and prosumer space it certainly presents a compelling value proposition at around 1700 us dollar it offers more usable vram equivalent uh, than any reasonable reasonably priced nvidia solution i would say making it attractive for researchers developers and ai enthusiasts who prioritize model size over raw inference speed but for production workloads or applications requiring maximum performance nvidia's i would say mature ecosystem and superior raw compute performance will likely maintain its edge the boss game m5 represents an important step i think towards democratizing local ai computing but it's more of a bridge solution than uh, nvidia killer at least for now but the thing is that this has to start somewhere we have to you know keep uh, maybe encouraging these sort of players maybe um you know some day this is going the price will drop down and they will be at par with nvidia's systems i know that we have also been waiting for some chinese company coming out of the blue and giving us an ai pc which could run a model of 600 billion parameter on our local system and the price tag will be just 50 us dollar or 100 us dollar i don't think so that is going to happen anytime soon so let's be realistic here and of course you also have to you know see your local price you can see that for me here in australia the price is around you know 20, over 2600 dollars which is which is quite dear i would say even from australian standard not not that high but still quite high what do you think about this amd challenger entering the local ai arena is the question because your opinion matters a lot are you tired of nvidia sky high prices and ready to give team red a shot for your ai experiments i'm really curious would you sacrifice some raw performance for that massive 128 gb of unified memory or do you think that the software ecosystem headaches with amd just are not worth it yet and here is the biggest question at 1700 us dollars is this finally the sweet spot for hobbyists and developers who want to run llms without selling a kidney please drop your thoughts in the comments and i also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and you will find the link to their website in video's description so drop your thoughts in the comments are you team nvidia ride or die or is it time to seriously consider amd for ai for clothes let me know what models you would want to test on this pc if that is what you think you are going to buy if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching